So here I have my A separator Helios 300 2019 17-inch model. It is powered by an i7 9750H and an RTX 2060. Before we get into the video, let's take a look at the things we're going to need. For my storage upgrade, I've chosen the Samsung 970 EVO Plus 1TB M.2 SSD. For better thermals, I went with the Cryonaut thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly and some thermal pads from AdWords. We sure gonna need a set of pocket screwdrivers, a pair of scissors, a brush, isopropyl alcohol, and a lot of Q-tips. So let's go ahead and open the back of the laptop. So once we're inside, we're gonna disconnect the battery first. Now let's unscrew the back cover of the second M.2 slot. Once that is removed, let's slide the new SSD to its place and screw the cover back. Now let us disconnect the Wi-Fi adapter before moving on to the heatsink. Make sure to disconnect the fan connectors before pulling on the heatsink. For the next step, I'm going to dip the Q-tip in some isopropyl alcohol and clean out the old thermal paste.
After that, I'm going to remove the thermal pads. Normally this step isn't necessary but as you can see, the thermal pads in my laptop are dry and flaky.
Once we are done with the thermal pads, we are going to move ahead and clean the heat sink and the fans.
So before applying the thermal paste, let's give it one last wipe to make sure it is clean thoroughly. I'm just going to follow the P-drop method. You can do whichever method you prefer, but make sure your application is sufficient. Now once the heatsink is placed carefully, make sure to screw it down with even pressure on all sides.
Here we can see the difference in the read and write speeds between the three different storage devices. Now let us go ahead and see the thermal and gaming performance. All tests were performed with turbo mode on at a room temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. As you can see, the cryonaut is doing its job well. For more better thermals, you can underworld the CPU using throttle stop. As for the storage, the 970 EVO Plus is pushing the frames a little higher. So is it worth the upgrade? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also click on the like button if you liked the video and subscribe for more content. That is it for now guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, stay safe and stay blessed.